buy a Molly Mac pack, they're custom built one at a time by McIntyre. When you order it, he builds it. And because he does it that way, you can get this system built in whatever configuration you want. The standard belt is 21 inches and ha does not have a PALS array on it. This is the enhanced belt. It's 29 inches. The padding is 29 inches long. Wraps all the way around and it has three rows of PALS array on it. What this does, it makes when you attach PALS um, compatible bags and pouches to this, makes it very, very secure. Gives you a lot of attachment points for knives, pouches, anything you can come up with. Here's my uh, water bottle holder for, for when I'm walking. Uh, you know, it attaches right there. All I have to do is reach back, reach back, grab it, boom, it's there. I can put it anywhere on the belt I want. Um, if I want it further to the front, I can put it there. You can see here I have the uh, sustainment pouch, the four liter sustainment pouch on the front. And I still have just a little bit more room if I wanted to carry a multi-tool or um, a small a small bag that I carried, you know, say a compass and and uh, oil pencil or something like that in. Same thing on the other side. You can see all I have over here is my water bag. Now normally my canteen pouch lives here because my my canteen pouch is my grab bag. That's actually the thing I put my little snacks in and my whistles and, and stuff like that uh, when I'm out hiking. The stuff that I need often, um, but not all the time. The uh, 21, you can get the, the regular 21 inch belt, which is shorter. You get, with the 21 inch belt, you get three columns of pals. With the 29, you get six. And on either belt, you can get either two or three columns of pals, uh, two or three rows of pals. I, I suggest three, just because uh, it's really not that much more money. For 30 more bucks or 35 more bucks, you can get this belt that holds a whole lot more. But for the ultralighters out there, uh, the 21 inch belt with two columns might be the way to go or no columns at all. <clears throat> an, an upgrade, an option is the front pack you see here and it is exactly half of the rear panel the front panel it has no stays in it so it is completely flexible you can see that uh, there are no carbon fiber stays in the in the seams here and this works very well to move weight forward so you know if you normally carry a 25 pound load on your back then you can move five pounds of that load to the front and it, and it feels like you're carrying even less than 25 pounds even though you're carrying the same weight by moving your center of uh, gravity forward it really uh, really makes it a whole lot easier to, to move the other good thing is you can what you put up front is the stuff you know that you would normally have to stop get take your, your pack off open the pack dig around for it get it out close the pack back up put the pack back on uh, you know the stuff that I keep up here is an extra water bottle my uh, moving water bottle because I don't filter, I treat. I always have a bottle back here that's being treated, a bottle up front that I'm drinking out of. Um, I have a crushed bottle that I use to dip the water with. Uh, my point and shoot camera, my multi-tool goes on the front here. Uh, if I'm hunting, my range finders or binoculars go on the front as well. The other thing on the, the front pack is it's, it's very nice and compatible for concealed carry if you do that because there's also a pals array on the back concealed carry uh, pouch on the back you clip it in and of course it's right there whether it's weak hand or strong hand draw you just reach in and draw or reach in and draw or you can do you know however you want to configure it but it's always right there at the front ready easy to get to and um, you know carrying it on the front like that it's easy to stage a trip or a fall if something were to happen and um, and deploy the weapon uh, during the staged uh, fall so the front pouch is uh, has has four attachment points it, obviously it has the two that we just saw there's two more on the bottom and these are actually non load bearing on the bottom what they do is keep it from, when it's loaded and you bend over, they, it keeps it from swinging out. Uh, 
so it's very easy to unclip these. Everything uses side release buckles on the on the entire pack, except you can get the cinch buckles with ladder locks if you want. Um, the front straps here are slaved to the load lifters on the rear panel, so it's not hanging off the front of the shoulder straps and putting and bearing weight down onto the shoulder straps that way. Uh, it actually works in conjunction with the ladder lock. It doesn't work in conjunction with the ladder lock. I mean, with the load lifters. But it, the forces pull against each other. Uh, it's, a, it's not a continuous piece, but they're sewn together right here. And uh, so the load is distributed from the front panel through the front panel connector, through the load lifter, and to the back of the to the back of the pack. Where so you're actually pulling forward on the back pack instead of lift, you know having the, the force drawn down on the top of the shoulder. Um, on the front here, continuing, there's two straps that come down, and all they have is loops in them. Again, these are options, and what I care, what I use these for are thumb loops. When I'm hiking, especially if I'm on flat ground and I want to make good time, something to put your hands in, I just put my thumbs in there, and I can give my arms something to do other than swing. Uh, if I'm not using trekking poles, which about half the time I do and half the time I don't. In technical terrain, I use the trekking poles when I get on flat land and, and I just want to make good time. I uh, stow them, use the thumb loops for, for rescue. So moving on to the back panel. The back panel is 12 rows of pals tall, 5 uh, columns wide. And again, it's completely flexible. You can see here, I've modified mine to take the stay out. You can see the stay here. These are small diameter probably um, about a quarter inch carbon fiber stays and you have two vertical stays and two horizontal two horizontal stays they're not connected together so it's not a true frame um, this, the whole thing stays rigid and uh, non-rigid and flexible moves with you but it bears bears the load very well um, again you can see that I have on my see that I have on my sleeping bag side release buckles and you can see these cinch straps up here are ladder locks. McIntyre will build them for you either way. You can mix and match as you want. Ladder locks are lighter weight. They work very well. Um, I like the side release buckles for the uh, sleeping bag just because I can compress the bag, click it in and then make the adjustment because my, I don't, my stuff sack to compress the sleeping bag I just use the cinch, that, cinch buckles. So that when I take it off, it doesn't stay compressed. Um, you can also get the cinch straps with just a single loop, a two inch loop sewn in, so that uh, you just thread the other end through the loop and then tie a slip half hitch. You know, compress the load, tie a slip half hitch. The reason the Molly Mac Pack works, the reason the Molly Mac Pack works is because once you have the load established, and cinch down tight, it becomes, the load becomes the frame. So ultralighters and lightweight backpackers have been using that for, uh, for a long time. You know, they take their, their sleeping pad, they put it in first, they put everything inside there, then they cinch everything down so that the, the load actually becomes the frame of the pack. Um, the concept is the same here, except with the Molly Mac pack system, you do have a semi-rigid frame to keep it from collapsing so you don't have to use a sleep pad or anything like that but as the load goes together and you cinch everything down tight it becomes very very stable pretty rigid but still flexible the belt we've already gone over the belt but uh, basically the belt attaches to the rear panel via the PALS webbing very simple to do if you're familiar with, any, with using molly pouches um, then it attaches the exact same way as, as molly pouches do if you're not familiar with molly pouches and how they attach to pals webbing then uh, there's a bunch of YouTube videos on it and uh, how to's on the web you can even download the uh, technical manual from the US military that shows how to weave it and do it and latch it and everything but what that what it does is it, it it's 
very effective at marrying the pouch to the rear panel and in doing that it stabilizes the load very well we've uh, all the new belts have a reinforcement patch at the back of it of the uh, double laminate 1000D Cordura which makes a very rigid point up to about 45 pounds it has no problem carrying 40 to 45 pounds once you exceed 45 pounds if you do I recommend putting in uh, stays aluminum lumbar stays and I'll show you that a little later in the video now the back panel and the front panel this what the substrate is made out of is double layered hot laminate 1000 D Cordura it's two pieces of 1000 D Cordura hot laminate laminated together which creates a very strong semi flexible semi rigid substrate that everything is attached to um, I've never had a stitch fail and I've carried some pretty heavy loads over some pretty rough terrain um, it, it's just good stuff it's not going to fail and Matt guarantees it you know uh, his guarantee on his website is if it breaks send it back and he'll fix it that's uh, that's pretty good customer service okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to break down the system and I'm going to show you the modularity of it if that's a word uh, the different ways to configure it out in the field whether you're a hiker uh, that hikes in and then you want to do some day hikes out from your main camp or you're a hunter and you hike you uh, pack your camp in, set up spike camp and do day hunts from there, or you're an EMT, or a SAR, or even trail maintenance. Uh, it's a good way to hike everything in, set up a base camp or a spike camp, and then go and do your work or do your hikes or have your fun.